Hey there, YouTube. This is Visago RAR doing the first episode of a new series I'm going to start calling Early Access Earl, where I play some games that are either in Early Access Alpha or that are just, you know, being worked on in betas, uh, just things that aren't, you know, fully developed yet, that aren't done yet. And they're just going to be quick update videos, watch a game or two, and I'm going to talk about it, how it's come along. So the first installment of the first season is going to be on this game that you're currently looking at, which is titled Ghosts in the Shell. Standalone Complex, First Assault Online, which is a hell of a name. So we've just taken to calling it First Assault. Now, if you know Ghost in the Shell, if you know the Ghost of the Shell Standalone Complex, if you know what I was referring to when I said those words, you kind of already get the lore. But for a brief uppance, uh, Ghost of the Shell takes place in a futuristic world where people are cyberizing themselves, becoming computers, and leaving themselves open and vulnerable to a new class of terrorists, super cyber hackers. Uh, hum humans, you know, cyberize people with cyber brains and such, can, get, can actually be hacked. And so, off of this premise, ne uh, Japan has instated Public Security Section 9, which are some of the baddest, assist, uh, cyberized, and, you know, just plain old detective soldiers... It, they're all badass. Anyway, it's a great old anime based off a 95 uh, movie called Ghost in the Shell. Standalone Complex was an anime series made immediately after that, I believe. And it spawned all sorts of uh, other standalone movies, games, and including this one. So let's get right into talking about the game. <clears throat> right now, the game, I believe, has eight characters. Each a member of Public Security Section 9. And each of these characters has a cyber ability, a skill sync. You can see it in my bottom left hand corner there. You see I am currently filled up at tier 1, which you can see on the... You see I have tier 1, 330 out of tier 1, 200, and max is 400. So, tier 1 costs you 200 of this, you know, this resource, this buildable resource, and once you're past tier 1, it stops auto-filling. So you gotta get your kills to get them filled. Like, I'm gonna lose this fight just because, you know, I suck. But uh, let's see, tier 1, 330, and the character I'm currently playing at is uh, Boma. He's uh, he's one of the cyber, he's a cyber, uh, damn, I don't even know the word. He's a specialist in cyber warfare, that's right, yeah. Or cyber brain warfare, specifically. Um, but he's a, still a field operative. And his special ability, while I'm watching another uh, user play right now since I died, there's a defeat round. But uh, his ability, you can see the flexed arm there, is actually uh, a regen ability uh, called like nano nano arm gel or something like that. But uh, when you get to the first tier, you activate it and you get some uh, regeneration. And it's just me. You know, I activate it, I get the regen. If I get to tier two for some of these abilities, the blue one, like like Bowman's is blue, you can see it. Uh, they have at tier two these skills you can activate these skill sinks like Q see skill ready I just activated it bam nice kill what the skill sync complete skill sync complete and you can see right next to it there three people have picked up my skill and these three teammates are now uh, receiving the the tier one effect from my uh, my nano gel if, if if yours is able to be skill synced then when you get to tier two the tier one effects not only affect you, but any teammates who get near and press E to, to skill sync. It's pretty cool. <clears throat> uh, and that's why this is actually a tactical team based shooter. You've got to use your abilities when you need to use your abilities, uh, support your teammates as best you can, keep them alive, and they should do the same to you. Um, now for the terms of gameplay, what I'm playing here is, you can see it's a sort of a search and destroy uh, this is Demolition, the game type. And you've got two points, A and B, A's to my right, B's to my left. Uh, a couple good... The map designs aren't aren't great, but since this is early, I assume that uh, they're going to shift some, come out with new maps to slate us while they uh, go back and edit the maps that we've been you know, playing the hell out of. I've only got about 20 hours in-game so far, but some of these guys have been playing a good minute. And for that minute they've been playing, they these these devs have come back with a lot of encouraging things. They talk to they talk uh, on the forums a lot. They're really vocal about uh, report your glitches, report your bugs, report you know your impressions. We need feedback. They're they're really hard up about uh, that feedback. They love feedback. They want it, and so they love it. Uh, there's some, of course. Again, I'm just going to continuously cite this early access thing. 
Uh, I'll probably come back and do uh, episode two on this in a, in a month or so after a patch or two, and I'll watch the patch notes and be able to tell y'all exactly what's changed. But uh, right there, headshot. Headshot is pretty much an instant kill. Uh, if you've watched Ghost in the Cell, you've, you've seen some of these headshots, and while true, that every time I've seen a headshot in Ghost in the Shell, it's, you know, destroyed the cyber brain. Uh, I think that's that's their thing, is like, hey, if you destroy that cyber brain, they are out. And so I've seen a lot of backlash about how headshots are insta-gibs, and people don't like that because, you know, if you get an SMG and you're just spraying, you know, at gut level, that one's going to clip their head. But uh, there's a lot of discussion on the forums about this game and that it's not a hit scan style game where uh, you do have to lead your target. And you have to, it's kind of, uh, I think it's over overcompensated with the leading. Uh, like, I believe it'll happen here in a round or two. When I'm kind of like four feet from somebody with my SMG and uh, I kind of spray. And I'm pointing it right at him. You know, he's, he's he's running from you know my front left to my rear left, and so I'm swinging that direction. And ta 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 ta. And they're all just getting immediately behind him, even though my crosshairs the up and down is centered perfectly on his, uh, you know, vertical center. Uh, you know, the the the, the, the target the, the target picture he's given me the outline the target outline. It's it's the same every time, and it's just do 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 immediately behind him. We weren't. We weren't, what, like seven feet apart, not even. But the game, I thoroughly do enjoy. I am playing this game. I've kind of switched off of other games to play this game. Uh, and it, it, it was when they started doing it, when development was coming out for next year. It's going to be released next year. But they came out and said it was going to be free to play. And I, I bought it for $5. So uh, I'm assuming that they're they're going to sell it. I mean, it, it doesn't seem to be free to play anymore, since it did cost me five dollars. If you go actually uh, to the to the you know the Steam Steam store and look up this game Ghost in the Shell, you can you can actually go get it for five dollars, or you can get one of the uh, early access packs. I think they've got like four: Recruit, Specialist, Elite, and Operator, or something like that. You see how my grenade didn't go through that fence? I do like that about the game. It's it's common sense. I shouldn't have thrown it at the goddamn fence, but I did, and my grenade bounced back and killed me. Good, good, good on you, Nexon. Yes, this game is developed by uh, Nexon, who's they've made a couple free to play games. They uh, Maple Story is one of their most popular, and you know, a, hundred, hundred, a lot of motherfuckers play Maple Story, <laughs> and they're actually working with uh, Cliffy B. If you know Epic Games, is Cliffy Cliff Blazinski, I believe his name is. Uh, guys one of the one of the central guys on the gears of war franchise he's had a free-to-play game idea for a while i think it's called like lawbreakers or something like that so uh, definitely keep your eye on nexon they do make good stuff uh and keep your eye out for lawbreakers but back to ghost in the show like i said i am a fan of the franchise i'm a fan of the actual i guess the ip itself the lore the world i enjoy watching the anime i like the movies um this is the first game I think yeah, this is my first Ghost in the Shell game. I like it. I really, really do. Um, but let's see. What more negatives? The unlock system. You you get in when you start the game. You sign up all that good stuff. You get your you get your character name. Uh, I could not put my character name Vasago in it because Vasago has the word ass. V a s s. I couldn't do it. Uh, they wouldn't let me. I, it's understandable. It happens sometimes. It's cool. As a matter of fact, you know I can understand. But I mean, it's a Ghost in the Shell game. There's going to be like headshots and shit. So, I mean, what's what's what ages are we working with here? Anyway, regardless. But the unlock system. It's kind of slow, but with the number of weapons that are out now, which is pretty low, but it is a free-to-play game, so that'll expand later. Uh, as you can see, I'm only level 6. I'm just, I'm just getting my grind on, you know, starting to get in there. As I said, I'm not even at 20 hours. Um, you get these right here, the unlock's based on... Th these progress progressional progressional unlocks here work on TP, which you gain just a little bit in each game, depending on what weapon you used mainly. If you do well in your KD ratio, you'll get a lot of TP in the farthest left one. Like I'm choosing right now to unlock the SA-50, a high caliber sniper rifle, so that I can switch back to Saito, who is probably my favorite character, and start sniping again. Uh, unlocking a laser sight for my SMG, a laser sight for my uh, my M4, and a laser sight for what the hell is that? Oh, laser sight for my uh, L118, which is a lower caliber sniper rifle. 
I'm since I'm using Bom, it's Borma, but I call him Boma. Uh, it, I think that's what they call him in the show. I don't care. But yeah, since I'm working with Boma, I'm unlocking his a socket for his cyber ring. And as you unlock these things, like you can see, it is pretty slow going if you're only getting ten or so TP around. Uh, and the only reason ten is in that M4 category was because I primarily used my M4. I was getting all my kills with my M4 in that round. So the more diverse you are, and the better you do in the game, the easier and the quicker those will all unlock. But with the mid to low number of players playing right now and the low number of weapons in the system as it's progressing, it's actually achieved for me anyway, a very, very good balance about, you know, keeping people in retaining these players. Uh, not to mention there's very frequent uh, unlocks for, you know, plus 10 GP for an hour or plus 10 experience for an hour. Uh, but with, I have not seen anybody else do this, but me. On the post-game screen, you can see on the right, my KDR, my kill-death ratio, 1-1. One, one. Not not great, you know, not shit, but not great. Uh, I'm the only person I've seen yet who displays their kill-death ratio to all players. And it's actually just a setting in, in options and game settings. Like, because if I, you know, if you tab to see this, the score screen, you don't see your kill-death ratio typically. And there it is. See, I, <laughs> I totally forgot I went to the screen to to talk about that before I did it. Yeah, there it is. In your game screen, numerical display on. Share type. If you keep it to yourself, then yeah, you just go press tab to see your score, and it only shows it to you. I did a little graphical play with after that, but it's all right. Well, guys, I'm glad I could talk to y'all about Ghost in the Shell for about this 10 minutes. Um, I do enjoy playing it. If you've got me on Steam, go ahead and add me. If not, you can. Uh, capital V-A-S-S-A-G, capital O. Uh, if you spell it like that, I'll be the only result. If you don't, you'll have to look. Uh, it's been a pleasure for this episode one of Early Access Earl. Uh, keep an eye out for episode two. Uh, I'll actually advertise that one <laughs> before I share it. Unlike this one. But thanks, guys, for the view. If you liked it, like and subscribe. If you want to leave a comment and tell me what I sucked at besides, you know, the talking. Hey, yeah, criticize my gameplay, as a matter of fact. Tell me about all the shitty, shitty deaths I had. All the kills I missed. The crap grenades. Do it.